Um... This one's wife, in the nude, again. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. I've explained in detail why this one's wife is a somatic narcissist. Her somaticism means that appearances and material matters are important to her. Somatic narcissists may tick all the different boxes that support their somaticism. Some somatic narcissists will tick a majority of the relevant boxes, but not all. So, for example, you might have a somatic narcissist that isn't that bothered about money, but likes to look good, likes to be seen, trains, works out, and is hypersexualized. Thus, one of the factors is missing. Some somatic narcissists are deluded. They believe that they're good-looking, but they're not. They believe, for instance, that they are a fashion icon when they're not. Sometimes the delusion comes from once having been good-looking, but as a consequence of particular lifestyle choices, they've lost their looks, maybe through weight gain, through drug-taking, abusing alcohol, etc., not looking after themselves, but they still trade out on their glory days. This one's wife has a number of somatic traits. We know that she has a preoccupation with money. We know that she likes to be wealthy. We know that she likes to be seen at expensive gatherings. We know that she likes to be seen on the red carpet. We know, for instance, that she is somebody that's preoccupied with her appearance. She's utilised cosmetic surgery. She spends a lot of money on ill-fitting clothes. She spends a lot of money on jewellery. She wants to have an expensive house, which she regularly triangulates people with. She wants to hang out with the beautiful people. She wants to holiday in luxurious places. She's hypersexualized in that we know that she has utilized sex as a means of bringing people under control and drawing fuel through throwing out lashes of spicy poontang. There are other aspects to her somaticism also, but one of the key aspects of it is this, this hypersexualization linked with her believing that she's hugely desirable. Now, you wouldn't necessarily objectively describe her as ugly, but she's far from the most beautiful woman that's on this planet. Add in the way that her personality is and she becomes all the less desirable. But she believes that she's drop-dead gorgeous, that every woman wants to look like her and that every man wants to knock her hip out. You only have to see the way that she sashays when she's walking into something whereby she expects all eyes to be on her. Look at me, look at me. I'm beautiful, I'm stunning, I'm heart attack beautiful, as my husband said. Harry, of course, was overcome as a consequence of the fact that a relatively attractive female was paying him attention and was probably massaging his balls under the table at the time that he couldn't believe his luck. And, overcome by his own emotional thinking, he was easily ensnared by her playing the sex card. This plays into her belief that she is drop-dead gorgeous when she has the Randy Fantapude bugger chasing around wanting to play hide the sausage. But sex is just there for her to control other people. But she truly believes that she's gorgeous and desirable. She'll have used sex in order to bring past intimate partners under control, for instance, Trevor Engelson, Corey the Chef, others that she's had a liaison with, see parts pass him. There are also, of course, the rumours about her experience as a yacht girl, whereby she allegedly entertained men for money. And again, if that is true, she has utilised sex as a means to get to the prime aims, to control those clients, to draw fuel from them by way of their responses, and of course access a considerable residual benefit. You may recall, uh, parts pass him, the burger video, where she attempts to do sexy. Demonstrating that she has zero class, she cavorts around a grill, trying to make 
the grilling of burgers into something which is sexual. With her looks to camera, biting of lip, sashaying around, she attempts to inject sexiness into it. And this whole selling of herself through the video that she did for Men's Health, the reported nude photographs that exist of her, the suggestion that she's been involved in porn videos also, allied with the allegations of her being a yacht girl, are all things which may well be likely as a consequence of her somatic narcissism. Lacking boundary recognition, operating with a sense of entitlement, having no accountability for her behaviours, but needing that control, needing that fuel, character traits and residual benefits, her narcissism would not hesitate to cause her to believe that she's the most stunning woman in the world that can suck a golf ball through 40 feet of hosepipe and that every man wants to nail. And therefore, with that mindset, cause her to behave in a particular way so that she uses sex and nudity to get to those prime aims. And we have, once again, another picture that is doing the rounds on the old internet, which tends to support this past history of hers. You can see it on your screen, which a bit of redaction has been utilised to spare her blushes, not that she would have any. But this is another photograph that has recently been unearthed and has been recently doing the rounds on the internet. It suggests again that she's there engaging in some at least topless posing. Naturally, an individual is free to do that. It's their body. They wish to make a living, whether it be in the porn industry, or OnlyFans, whatever it might be, doing topless modelling, they're perfectly entitled to do so. But of course, what this demonstrates is how she has gone about making her way through life in pursuit of the prime aims, but also her being exposed with another nude photograph demonstrates her hypocrisy, whereby she has maintained that she has that she's an independent feminist, that she's empowered, and that she's encouraged girls to seek that empowerment. What? By using men to get to where she's got to, by using sex to get ahead, by posing naked on a repeated basis. Are those the things that she believes are part of that empowerment? Nothing to do with education, nothing to do with working hard, nothing to do with being empathic and forging good relationships, but basically show your tits and you'll get ahead. That appears to be the message that she's issuing. So once again, as a consequence of another photograph doing the rounds, we not only see her somatic narcissism in full effect, but also seeing another example of the hypocrisy of the narcissist. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.